Mr. WWE Report coming to you live for NXT updates for June 7, 2011 and WWE Superstar results for June 9, 2011. Um, if there's any technical difficulty problems, please comment on this video. I messed um, technical difficulties with my camera on the first, um, on uh, making this video before. <coughs> so this is my second time. And it's it's very very late, so sorry for the late review. Um, just been really busy over the last couple of days, so I uh, watched NXT and Superstars and TNA for that matter today. So um yeah, NXT uh, June seven two thousand eleven JTG and Yoshi Tatsu straight out of Brooklyn segment. Yoshi Tatsu defeat JTG. Taryn Young and Chavo Guerrero defeat Conor O'Brien and Vladimir Kosta. Um, Vladimir. Connor, Titus, and Hornswoggle had a backstage segment with the wood. Pretty funny. Titus O'Neil defeat Lucky Cannon. WWE Superstars are lost for June 9, 2011. Chris Masters, um, JTG came down in a heel persona as he's been heel on NXT, but last week on Superstars, even though he was heel, he still appeared face. But, uh, so now he's heel again, so pretty much main heel. So his opponent was Chris Masters. I know you saw bits and pieces of that during Raw, the Tough Enough finale, as they were taping it, however. But uh, JTG was in control the whole match until a uh, reversal by Masters hitting up the Master Lock. So Chris Masters defeat JTG via Master Lock. Molina and Maurice defeat Gail Kim and Eve Torres, a pretty much rematch for Gail Kim and Molina, which Gail Kim won last week. But Molina actually hit and pinned Gail Kim with the finisher. And um, next match was supposed to be Mark Henry versus Johnny Curtis as Mark Henry came out. And his uh, music hit a little longer than usual. And then Johnny Curtis music hit as the ring announcer introduced Johnny Curtis. After a while, he didn't come out. Matt Stryker got on the mic and asked Mark Henry, why don't you think your opponents come out? Mark Henry said, for the same reason that my theme music says. Somebody's going to get their butt kicked. Sorry about that, guys, but this is a uh, channel for all viewers of all ages, so keeping it clean here. Since Matt Stryker was at ringside being an announcer, however, uh, t everyone was pretty much excited for Tyson Kidd's new manager. Well, I was. But then it was like, excuse me. That means one thing. Vicky Guerrero or the Hurricanes coming through, and I think it's Vicky Guerrero. So, uh, Tyson Kidd hit the figure four leg lock originally made by Ric Flair, who is now in TNA, um, to in total nonstop action in impact wrestling. Uh, and so Yoshitatsu got the ropes, reversed it, and hit a huge Japanese leg kick to this skull. So Yoshitatsu hit the one, two, three, defeating Tyson Kidd. After the match, Vicky Guerrero pretty much just walked out on Tyson, saying, looks like he's, he's not his manager anymore. Who's his manager next? Pretty good there. I'm looking forward to whoever it is, but um, visit my other channels, Wrestling Toy Fix, WWE Super Teams, Video Game Report, and official WWE Pick Vids. Got us some moments from Superstars NXT coming up, uh, and NXT on WWE Super Teams, Wrestling Figure Updates, as these uh, beautiful figures see. Hope you guys uh, enjoy. Got a, uh, made my own background. Uh, my old background was made by my friend uh, on YouTube. Um, I'll put him in the description. Visit my other channels, as I said, and uh, comment, raise, subscribe, comment what you liked about this. If, um, the sh Superstar Show. I loved all of it, and NXT for that matter. I loved it. Vote now, actually. Um, I'm voting for Darren Young again. Uh, I like his heel persona, but um, yeah, he really should be a superstar. He was on. He was in uh, NXT season one. He was in Nexus. He was on Raw. So. He really should be a superstar, but however, um, visit Flixpoo. I know we haven't made a video on that for a while, but we will be back, I'm telling you. Um, with my friend Paul, aka PM Studio Films and Assembly, visit them as well. Thank you guys for watching. TNA Impact is coming soon, guys.